It's a great pleasure to see the publication of the Bulgarian report, the Bulgarian study, um, drawing on the research both of Global Kids Online and EU Kids Online. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, comment on a few of the findings um, now that we have, uh, in the case of Bulgaria, both new research now about how children are engaging with the internet, what opportunities they encounter and what risks they encounter. And also in the case of Bulgaria, because um, we also had a survey asking very similar questions in 2010 to 11, we had the chance to see how the situation is changing. And what the report very clearly shows is the um, spread, even in a few years, of the way in which Bulgarian children are using the internet, taking it for granted in their daily lives, using it in very high um, numbers, and using it um, among younger and younger children. When we interpret findings from a large-scale survey, we always have this question about um, when do we consider certain percentages rather high or when do we consider them rather low? So I thought the case of the way in which Bulgarian children are using the internet for schoolwork was interesting. The survey shows in the last few years that many children are now using the internet for their schoolwork. On the other hand, it also shows that something like a quarter of them are not using it or didn't use it at all for any um, schoolwork in the past month. We could say, um, assuming the internet is good for children's learning, that this is progress over the last few years. We could also uh, see here a hint of a digital divide persisting and want to ask questions about which children it is that don't use the internet for schoolwork and thinking about the uh, implications for policy and practice, what are the lessons that schools and educators might, might learn in terms of where to pinpoint resources so that more children get the benefit of the internet. One um, other finding I thought um, particularly noteworthy is that the study shows an increase in children's confidence and understanding in terms of their digital skills. That they are feeling more confident and they understand better how the digital world works. And one uh, interesting case is that they understand better than they did a few years ago how um, to manage their privacy settings on social network sites. The survey also shows, however, that not many of them are doing so, or that more of them know how to uh, use set their privacy settings so that their um, social networking is private than actually do so. And I think that's a particular concern when we see from the findings that um, the majority of Bulgarian children under the age who are meant to be using social networking services, so very many of the 9 to 12 year olds are using social networking services when they are below the age for the terms and conditions of those services, keeping their um, settings public rather than private, and then we can use that as a way to understand some of the risk figures uh, that the survey also shows and to ask some pointed questions, I think, um, both at the educators who should be ensuring children have good digital literacy and also at the industry and service providers who should be ensuring that children meet the terms and conditions before they make use um, of the services. So in all, I think it's a really rich report and um, very um, excited that that we now have such a detailed account of how Bulgarian children are using the internet and I think there's a lot to be uh, found in the report that offers messages for the different stakeholders concerned to ensure that children do gain the benefits and um, do avoid the risks and those um, are particular one might particularly uh, focus on messages for government for educators for industry and for families.